Hello, Paul. Hello, Cornelius. Hello, Valeria. Hello, all of you, dear colleagues. I'm delighted to be with you today. As you can believe, I would have preferred to be physically with you, but due to this sanitary situation, I must resign to share with you this video to retrace Madden achievement during the last decade, either in Morocco, but also in terms of cooperation uh, with other countries and mainly African countries. So let's back to 2010. And under the leadership of His Majesty the King Mohammed VI, Morocco set itself ambitious energy objectives in order to ensure our energy security, to diversify our sources of supply, but also effectively to contribute to the preservation of our environment. More precisely, the objective at that time was to increase the share of renewable energy in our global energy mix from 28% in 2010 to uh, a minimum of 42% in 2020. And so today, I'm glad to say that if we count the projects that are under operation and those who are at, at advanced stage in terms of development, we can say that this objective is largely exceeded. And this is why a new target of a minimum of 52% by 2030 has been set. So at the same time, Morocco is also now committed to the development of green energy alternatives, and particularly the production of green hydrogen and green molecules through, for example, a first reference project based on an electrolyzer with a capacity of around 100 megawatts to be optimized because we are at an early stage in terms of pre-feasibility study, and also a hybrid solar and wind power plant with a capacity of 200 megawatts to be also optimized, which make it the larger uh, electrolyzer and green hydrogen production project in the world. So building on these various successes and achievements, and in the week of the real desire to strengthen and to develop the cooperation in the field of renewable energy, Mazin had initiated cooperation with more than 20 countries, mainly in Africa. So this cooperation takes several forms, namely the sharing of know-how and expertise, the capacity building, the technical assistance, and also the co-development in some cases, so the co-development of uh, renewable energy projects. And among the most important actions I can mention the support of Rwanda on a hydro power project, the support of Nigeria on a solar project, but also the co-development with the Zambian utility of a 450 megawatt program of renewable energy, and the co-development in Djibouti of a solar pro project, besides many other projects that I will not mention here. And beyond, so beyond our commitment at the bilateral level, Mazen is also very active at the multilateral level, in particular through three major uh, initiatives and actions. So the first one that I will mention is the Desert to Power initiative that aims to develop a capacity of uh, 10 gigawatts of solar energy in the Sahel countries. And Mazen chairs the steering committee of this initiative Mazen mobilizes the, its internal resources within the task force of the initiative, and Mazen is also considered as the technical arm of the initiative. The second one that I will mention here is the one launched with the Islamic Development Bank to support its member countries to exploit their renewable uh, energy potential and to develop access to electricity using renewable energy technologies. So, launched in last December 2020, we are currently working in a first phase with seven countries, which are namely Djibouti, Niger, Senegal, Burkina Faso, Togo, Ivory Coast, and Gabon. And the first 
projects being launched are a solar project in Djibouti, two solar projects in Niger, and one hydropower project in Gabon. Others are under the due diligence at uh, yeah under the due diligence uh, uh, stage and to be launched also during this year. The latest initiative for access to electricity that I will mention here today is the Coalition for uh, Sustainable Access to Energy in least developed and other developing countries. And this initiative was co-announced with Ethiopia at the United Nations Climate Action Summit held in New York. And this is a world first, since two countries of the South have joined their forces to co-develop and to develop a coalition for countries of the South, and which is exclusively based on the principle of South-South cooperation. So the structuring of this coalition has been finalized, and today we are currently in the phase of mobilizing fundings for the operationalization of its secretariat and an effective launch planned for the, during this year. And finally, I will also mention the cooperation initiated with four European countries, namely France, Germany, Portugal, and uh, Spain, for the exchange of air electricity from renewable energy. Better known with, uh, under the name of the SET roadmap, which stands for Sustainable Electricity Trade Roadmap. So this initiative has been launched within the framework of the COP22 in Marrakesh to concretize the Paris Agreement and envisages to integrate the electricity markets from renewable energy between these four European countries and Morocco. Uh, the agreement relating to the integration of green cross-border corporate PPA has been finalized and should be signed during the next coming weeks, uh, as soon as the sanitary situation uh, allows it. And the integration of other electricity markets, including the integration of new countries from the south, uh, is also expected very soon. So I hope that I was able to give you a very holistic, but also at the same time, some details about the achievements and successes that Mazin observed during this last decade, and uh, either in Morocco, but also in the field of cooperation with other countries. So I take advantage of uh, this opportunity to thank you for your attention, and I hope to see you again physically very, very soon. Thank you again. Take care. Bye-bye.